think this is a bit much for sidestep adventures, don't you? <laughs> This is kind of going off track. This isn't this our is, usual sidestep no, adventure. This is side. This is off the off the side. Oh boy. I, and John, I know this truck's four wheel drive. We ain't getting stuck. I can promise you. I can promise you that. Get out of here. I'll take some pine trees down before I get stuck down in here. Hey everybody, it's Robert. I'm out here with Dan and John and Angie and we're about to uh, explore a really creepy old house in the woods here so we're gonna send them in first and if we don't hear screaming then Dan and I are gonna go in and have a look so good luck guys thank you and before you go in are you familiar with the Blair Witch Project yes oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sun Chris. Refresh your best. Oh, refreshes you best. Um, Doraville, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't, uh, don't push too hard, but. Um, mm -hmm. The only thing I can tell you about this place is that the old lady who lived here built this house herself really she built everything here herself and i don't think it had a floor in it i, I believe it had a dirt floor but you can look at the block work and see how it was done Let me try the front door there's some dresses hanging up there we go sure enough are So this is an this is a wooden house. It's just been blocked up. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Look at this. Here, Angie, will you hold this one. Used to be wall to wall stuff. Here's a. Oh boy. Yeah. She used to have pianos and organs and. Ice boxes and all kind of stuff in there. All right, the diaper bag's a little creepy. Oh my goodness. Do you know how long this has been abandoned, Dan? John, look. No. Oh. Is it abandoned? Is she still waiting on us in here? She may be in here somewhere. Two pianos so far. There's a player piano. The mechanism is gone. If it starts playing by itself. Yeah. There's another one in here. What are you doing, Angie? Well, it's a candle. She's creating ambiance. <laughs> We're definitely getting haunted in here. Now, thank you. It's an emergency candle. Is that an organ? Oh my goodness, it is. This old bed. Yeah, that bed is awesome. On the diary. So just kidding. So when he hit me, I stabbed him in the stomach. That's not what it says. He stayed in hospital four days. That is exactly what it says. Okay. It says the four of us 
had him down to mother house. Daddy decided to slap me around. Told him next time he hits me, I'm going to kill him because it make me, it make no use of fighting and what have you. Damn being upset all the time. So when he hit me, I stabbed him in the stomach. He stayed in hospital for a day. Okay. I'll see y'all. I'll be, I'll be up at the Jeep. I can't tell if it's a man or a woman. I believe it's a woman. Here you go. I wonder if this was. Oh, wow. Dan, we you hold your light up? Oh, there was still snuff in it. Mm, yeah, it sure was. What age do you think this house is, Dan? The original house here, there's no telling how old it is. Um, I see some tar paper shingles on the side yeah. up there. If you, let me see that flashlight. Yeah. It was just a little one room house at one time. Yeah. Did not have a fireplace on it, did not have a chimney, so it was heated with a heater. Even the, uh, even the stove. rafters stove are is in yeah. there. Yeah. pine logs. This is pine. I mean, not, not even something that would... Even the bark still on them. Brand name Lauder. Lauder, Newark, New Jersey, USA. Established 1862. Model number 356. Okay. Look at that vacuum cleaner. I bet you that thing still works too. Between the candle and the piano, y'all are just calling up spirits in this house. <laughs> Conjuring. Right? Well, you saw the cross above the bed. Well, then we have the Jesus plates, the Last Supper. Isn't that cool? Sure is. Yeah, the old lady up there said, yeah, it's going to be so long, the roof fell in on that place. That is something else. 
it's quite exquisite. You can't leave that hanging out here. You're going to scare the daylights out of somebody. They're going to look down here and be like... <laughs> Leave that as a warning to others. <laughs> okay, so the room on the back of the house is collapsed, mm -hmm. I guess. And so this is this is a room she just built, right? Yeah, it actually got a stone wall it runs around here. Sure does. Up, all the way around the front. Sure enough. Goes around the tree like there's some plants planted. So the refrigerator in there. And there's a stove or oven. Here's the roof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was that? joints are not clean. Nobody taught her how to lay block. This was something that she did out of absolute necessity to build this home. It's not square, it's not level, it's it's the best she could do. Right. There was a little house back here that somebody lived in independently from her. And they had a mailbox on the front of it. And they had a television inside of it. See the picture tube? foundation of this house. Yeah. You think the man doing thing around here put nail in that box on the front porch? <laughs> see it. I do, I see the mailbox, yeah. Oh wow, the whole wall is loose. I don't want to do that. This, this looks like this house never had glass windows installed in it. Only ever had wood shuttered windows. Ooh wee. Probably a nice whip. Have a look down there. That is deep. Oh. Those are camel crickets. Mm-hmm. I don't like camel crickets. Loaded with them. It's a deep well too. Yes it is. have flower gardens out here and this was a, a fence a little fence in front yard and they had a gate right here but that burial vault sat somewhere along here um, as long as I could remember I remember everybody talked about she was so eccentric that she had her own uh, vault put in the front yard here Who moved the dress? I thought 
it. Did you put the dress up? No, I didn't put the dress up. I walked around the back. Where's the dress now? I thought you took it there. It was hanging around in here. No, I saw it. It's over there. Someone, one of us moved it to the inside of the house. What me? Was that me? Where? Right there. <laughs> you moved it. I didn't move it. <laughs> I'm assuming you moved it. No, I didn't move it, really. I, I really didn't. didn't move it. I didn't move it. I wouldn't even have touched it. <laughs> I was in the kitchen. Every... <laughs> Everything I've done has been on camera. I haven't been back around here. It's confession time now, though. Which one of y'all moved the dress? I didn't move the dress. I swear I did not move that dress. I did not touch it. You were the one who said we can't leave it sitting. Out there. No, and then I went around to the back. I was, with, I was with you. Well, then how did I move it? I don't know. I just realized that. Dan? I didn't move the dress. Well, we're getting I'm, on, I'm, Audi. I'm glad it's back where it belongs, though. We're yeah, getting, you can't we're getting out of here. We couldn't just leave it hanging out in the yard. No. Well. Did it make it back in the house? It was under the front porch. Made it onto the porch, but <laughs> close enough. We're getting it rained on. 